What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for checking this video out. Um, today I'm going to take a break from my normal, you know, political videos, my political commentaries, or my, uh, or, or rant videos, or whatever it is I happen to be doing, and I'm going to do a how-to video. And this is going to be how to break down an AR-15 style rifle for, uh, just, just to field, basically to field strip, okay? Just for routine maintenance and, uh, cleaning purposes, okay? And, uh, the reason this video came about, the idea for this video, I was talking to a guy I work with. He just purchased a Smith & Wesson M&P, uh, AR-15 rifle, and he he wasn't exactly sure how to break it down, how to take it apart for the for the cleaning and maintenance purposes, just to do a fill strip on. And I was like, you know what? I'll shoot a video and I'll send it to you. And I figured, you know what? Why not pause? Uh, why not put it on the channel? So that's exactly what I'm doing. Okay. So uh, let's get into it. Okay. Um, anytime you're messing with any type of firearm, the first thing you want to do is make sure that it's unloaded. Okay. So if you had a magazine, you drop the magazine. You pull your charging handle to the rear. Take a look in the chamber. Make sure your chamber's clear. All that good stuff to be safe, okay? Weapons on safe. All right, we're good to go. So uh, in order to break this down, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to locate our two takedown pins. One here, one here, okay? And all you got to do, put a little pressure on them. One, uh, you got one takedown pin right above your pistol grip and one right in front of the magazine well. Now this one on this particular rifle in front of my magazine well, this one always likes to give me a little bit of problem. So I got my, my trusty rawhide mallet. Just give it a couple love taps, bang that sucker out of there. Anytime you're working on a, on a, on any type of firearm, though, if you need to bang on something, please use a rawhide mallet. Don't use like a hammer. You don't you don't want to do metal on metal, okay? And also because I have pretty much no fingernails, I have other little tools. I use like this this uh, little plastic uh, putty knife, and I'm just gonna find both of both the pins on this side. I'm gonna pop those pins out. Now both of these pins are captured, so you do not have to worry about um, about the pin flying out or losing or anything, okay? So we're gonna pull both those pins out, and now we can separate our lower from our upper receiver. It just pops right off, boom, there you go, okay? Now that we have these separated, if you want to, on your lower receiver, I'll show you how to uh, remove the buffer spring. This is your buffer spring right here, okay? If you wanna pop that out, at the six o'clock position on here is a buffer spring retaining pin. You're just gonna, we're just gonna put a little pressure on that, pop that out. Also, make sure your hammer's, make sure your hammer's cocked, because otherwise it'll get in the way. So you just put, put a little pressure on that buffer spring, press down on that retaining pin with whatever, uh, whatever you happen to have handy. In this case, I'm, I'm using a pin, a pen rather. You just pull that sucker right out. There's, there's your buffer and your spring. I do this once in a blue moon, but if you want to take it out, that's how you do it. Okay, at this point, for your as far as your lower goes, you're uh, you're all good to go to clean regular. You're you know in your in your uh, your magazine weld stuff. You can get started on your clean in there. Okay, so that's uh, that's it for the uh, lower receiver for now. We're gonna move on to the upper receiver. Okay, first thing we're gonna do with the upper, we're going to remove the bolt carrier group and the charging handle. So we're gonna pull back on our charging handle, bolt carrier group. It's gonna slide right out just like that. That is your bolt carrier group. This is your bolt. That's your bolt carrier together, bolt carrier group. Set that aside. Take charging handle out. There's your charging handle. Now your charging handle, you see it's got these two nubs here. There's corresponding cutouts in, in the upper receiver. I'm not sure if you can see them from there, but that's what uh that's what, what it fits into. Okay. So you just pull pull up and, and the charging handle slides right out. Now at this point, if you wanted to, you could go ahead and start cleaning your uh start running your, your patches and your brushes through your barrel, clean your uh, chamber and stuff. You're good to go on that because there's nothing interfering with you now. Okay. Now let's talk about taking apart the bolt carrier. This is the only semi painted about part of this whole operation and this is very very simple, okay? First thing first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the firing pin retaining pin which is right here, okay? I use a little box cutter just to hook it, just to pull it out enough to where I can uh where I can get my fingers on it lacking all types of fingernails. Actually, before we get into this, I would like to make one suggestion. Grab yourself something that's light color. Like I use this, um, I use this uh, this towel here for when I'm cleaning my cleaning my guns, you know, for chemicals to drip on stuff. But um, there's going to be a couple small pins you don't want to lose. So grab something that's going to stand out. If you drop something dark colored on it, it'll stand out. You'll be able to find it really easily. Okay. So we're going to take our firing pin retaining pin out and pull that out and see it's got a little problem. Set that on our little white towel. Now, since we've done that, we're going to, that, that's what holds the firing pin in place. We'll remove that. So all you can do, hold out your hand, put your bulk hair upside down and your firing pin falls out. It hated on me that time and hit the ground instead of my head though, but that's your firing pin. Okay. Now that we have the firing pin out, we're going to go ahead and remove the bolt from the bolt carrier. Okay. First, we're going to push that in. I see this cam pin right here. We're going to rotate that 90 degrees, just like that. 
Now we're going to do the same thing we did with the firing pin. Hopefully it won't, I won't look as dumb. We're going to hold it upside down, bang it out a couple times. There it is. Cam pin pops right out. Now we can remove the bolt from the bolt carrier. Okay. So there we are. Um, that's, uh, that's all. We're almost completely done. I'm just looking for a little silicone rag I had. I have no idea what I did with it, so I'll deal with it later. In order to complete the, um, the field strip, we're going to remove the extractor, which is this piece right here from the bolt itself. Now you're going to grab your firing pin and we're going to remove the extractor retainer pin, which is right there. Okay. So just press that sucker out. Now of all the things that give me fits for not having fingernails, this is the absolute worst part because that's about as far as I could push that out. I got, I got to find something that's a, uh, oh, wow, I actually got it. Okay. So there we go. We're going to remove that pin. So that pin is out, put that on my little towel. And the extractor pops right off the top of the bolt. So you can clean that out, scrub that out, get all the carbon and gunk and shit that builds up in there. So that's it. That's pretty much as far as we're going to break it down to field stripping, okay? A little quick review of the parts. You got your bolt carrier, you got your bolt, you got your extractor, your firing pin, your uh, extractor retaining pin, your cam, and your firing pin retaining pin. So that's it. That's as far as we're going to break it down. And um, now let's go ahead and throw it back together. This is where you would clean it, do all your uh, routine maintenance, whatever you had to do, get that sucker cleaned and lubed, ready to go. And now we're going to throw it back together, okay? So you grab your bolt. First thing we're going to do, we're going to put the retainer, or I'm sorry, we're going to put the extractor back on the bolt, all right? So it fits on just like that. Now this is a little bit tricky to get this pin back in because you can see there's a very small spring right there. You have to put a little pressure on it on both sides. you got to put a little pressure on the spring, and, and obviously you got to put some pressure on the pin as you're, as you're uh, wiggling it back in there. And, you know, eventually you'll hit the sweet spot just like that, and it pops right back in, okay? So no big deal. So now there's our bolt. We're going to put our bolt back inside of the bolt carrier put that sucker in there just like that now now that we have that in there make sure it's seated all the way just like i did um see how as i rotate the bolt you can see the the cutout for the cam so we're going to rotate that right there and we're going to drop our cam pin back in there okay so now it's back in remember we got to rotate it so we can put our firing pin back in 90 degrees okay so there now that we have that in and we've rotated our 90 degrees we're going to pull that out just like that it's going to lock and we're going to drop our firing pin back in. So all you got to do, this is very simple, just drop it right back in there. Take our firing pin retaining pin, this goofy little looking thing, we'll pinch it together, stick it right back in there, and that's it. You get your bolt back in your bolt carrier, ready to reinstall it into the upper, okay? So now we're going to grab our upper receiver, take our uh, charging handle. Remember, like I said, with those cutouts, match match the little, uh, little nub to the cutout on the receiver. Get your charging handle back in, just get in there a little bit. Pull your bolt back out so it's like that. And this is exactly how the bolt goes right back right on top of the charging handle. Once you got to see there, just slide it in. And that's it. We're all done. All we have to do now, reconnect the upper and the lower. About the easiest part of the whole operation. Push your takedown pins back in. And uh, that's it. We're done. We have uh, completed field stripping and uh, putting back together. AR-15 for routine maintenance and cleaning. So that's all I got, guys. Uh, if anybody checked this video out, I hope it helped you, and I'm catch you next time. Peace.